as an app developer, or like I should probably say a hap developer, how do you go about integrating your uh, hap or your dap or your app um, with uh, Hollow Vault? So we'll just take a quick look at the code and you can get an idea of what are the um, kind of function calls you want to be making um, to, to link to this. So let's have a look. Look at that beautiful Rust code. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, it was a yeah great experience uh, working with Holochain Rust for the first time, and we really enjoyed it and found it to be uh, very productive. So, if you're writing an app and you want to integrate with Holobolt, so you're writing your chat app or whatever, uh, the first thing you need to do as an app developer is write one of these profile specs. And uh, this is like you write it as a JSON object somewhere inside your app um, that it could send to Holobolt. And this uh, just has some name, uh, the source DNA, which I guess can be automatically populated, which is the DNA of your app, and uh, a array of profile field specs. And these field specs basically say what kind of data the app is going to need. Um, so you'd have some kind of name through which you could reference this field, um, whether it's required or not to actually use your app. So the intention is that the screen we saw before where you're completing the profile would be displayed when you actually go to enter the app. Um, and if you don't fill out a required field, I guess the app could have the right to not let you um, progress any further. Some kind of description, which ideally would say like how the app's planning to use your data or why it needs it. Um, the example would be like for a handle, you know, this might say like, you know, the app's going to display this handle to every other user of the app so they can find it or something like that. There's also the idea of usage, which is uh, how this app is going to be using this data, whether it's going to actually store it in the app PHT or whether it's just going to display the data. And the display mode is the one we were talking about at the beginning. So where whenever the app needs to access this particular piece of data, it will grab it from Vault. So it won't grab it or it, it only goes kind of straight through. Um, and in that case, if you change the uh, data in your personas, it will immediately be reflected in the app. And the final part, which isn't uh, yet implemented, is a schema, which will be uh, something either the same or similar to a JSON schema, which will allow the profile to do some kind of validation on the data you're putting in. So for example, uh, if you had an address, it would make sure it meets the, the correct requirements and you know it has a house number that's just a number and all those kind of things, which can be automatically fed into the profile form. And that's it. So if you uh, just create um, effectively one of these profile specs with a bunch of fields, then that's your kind of contract as an app developer of saying, how are we going to use your data? Um, yeah, well, if you jump into the libRS, you can actually see the example. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah, I forgot about this. So these are the ones, um, I mean, because bridging isn't working, we couldn't actually bridge to an app to get the spec. So we just um, dumped them in the Genesis for now. But you can see uh, this is Holochat Holoteam. <coughs> uh, some dummy DNA. And then this is one that requires two fields. This is your handle and your first name and there's various types of things. So yeah, so that's just the kind of thing you have to write. Um, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, really. Um, the other thing I'd like to show is the functions through which you would uh, interact with Hollow Vault. And there's only really two. Um, so the first one is this register app function. And this is where an app would basically send its spec to Hollow Vault and say, like, I would like to, you know, use your services for managing data. And this will be called over a bridge. So presumably in some kind of uh, startup function in your uh, app, you would then call um, register app in Hollow Vault and pass through the spec. And if this is successful, you know that you're allowed to um, you know, go forward and request data. And the other part, which is also unimplemented, but is pretty simple, um, is this uh, retrieve function. So this is how the um, app that you're writing would actually go about getting this data. And it's just a matter of calling retrieve with the DNA of your app, which is obviously can be populated. And then just the name of the profile field. So in this case, you'd probably just be going, you know, retrieve handle. And then this will either return something that says that it's not mapped yet. So if it's required, you can't progress any further, or it'll go and retrieve the actual data. Um, and then you're all good. 
Um, so with those two functions, it should be pretty straightforward for people to start using this in their apps once once bridging is working. Okay, so I'll awesome. end it there.